Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to baseball here on youtube.com slash Sean Rex. My name is Sean. We're inside MLB, the show 23, like we usually are. Uh, and today is game four of the World Series. We're coming off a couple of rough offensive performance. Hopefully, we can kind of get things going. Jump started a little bit. Our defense and our pitching has been fantastic throughout this series. Uh, we won the first game four to one. We lost the second game two to nothing. We won the, won the last game. Uh, one to zero. So we're outscoring them, but just barely. And I don't think we're going to be able to keep this Atlanta offense down, like in check the kept them in check the entire time. They're just too good. Um, but today is a good opportunity to take a commanding three, one series lead here, especially with Robbie Ray on the bump. One and with a three Oh ERA Mike Soroka. He's one and with a five, one five Oh ERA. Um, we have the Wentz conundrum kind of starting to creep up on us a little bit. We'll have Ray and then we'll probably want to do Logan Gilbert, um, in the next one. I get it, I, yeah. Logan Gilbert in the next one. If we can get a three, one series lead, I think we can maybe afford to throw Wentz on there, but if it's two, two, I don't know that I want to put him in that scenario. Um, but if it's three, one, maybe we see kind of who's working in the bullpen, um, and, uh, and figure that out. We'll have Munoz to close today. We probably won't have Castillo or Murphy. So we're going to have to pick and choose very carefully who we're going to put up on the mound. But like I said, hopefully we can get the offense going a little bit more and we can get something that's closer to the game one scenario where we're up a couple of runs rather than the game three scenario where it feels like we are bending and bending and could break at any moment. Game five tomorrow right here on the channel. Will it be a series closer? Will it be uh, series extender, I guess. Who's going to take a 3-2 lead into game six? I don't know. You'll have to find out. Subscribe. Ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post a new video. 6 p.m. Pacific time is when these baseball games with the Mariners go up. So do all of that. Okay. Castillo's probably not going to be an option. Logan Gilbert definitely is an option. So we could probably use him. Uh, Yeah, Wentz is by far our lowest rated starter. And it's because of the injury to... Luis Gonzalez. All right, right-handed pitcher. They keep giving me Tom Murphy, but I want Trammell in that spot. I would also like Teoscar and Ty France to flip places as the same with them. And Mateo in left. It's game game four. I feel good because we're, we're leading two to one. We've been fighting. Um... We've been out of getting out of some jams. I just, I wonder how many more times we could roll the dice. That's all. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Atlanta Braves. In Atlanta for the next couple of games, and we'll be back home in Seattle for the last two. I'm John Shambi. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, if the first three games are any indication, this has the look of a series that'll go all the way to game seven, Boog. I think this is a classic match. I don't, I don't want this to go all the way to We've seven. Seen momentum change course a few times already, but I'll tell you what, I think whoever takes this one the, will be the offensive, really good about their chances the rest of the way. The yeah, offensive woes point. are very before, concerning. Very, very like concerning. Game four could propel you to a series win more often than not. All right. We'll be Random rosters, NFL version, are uh, the OG went up this morning. So go check that out. An extended episode, five games so today. Almost ready to get Mike Soroka, one start with a 1-0 record here in this Mike postseason, 1-5-0 ERA. Six innings pitch, six hits given up. A whip of 1.33. He's got two walks to one strikeout. Even though that, uh, that whip is pretty high, ERA fairly low. And we're going to be working probably with a bit of a rough situation again today. Sinker at 94, slider at 85. A four seam at 96, a change up at 81, and a cutter at 90. Why to kick the pitch? That's off the mark. A good take there. Here in game four. See what we can take care of here. Next offering is in for a strike. A couple of okay takes. Uh, 
on the ground. Early on the sinker. <laughs> Whips it across. One up, one down. We, we, I've been early on a lot of stuff lately. I don't and know why. Now feel playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. In there for strike one. It's a good take right there, slider on the inside part of the plate. He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, a changeup, and occasionally uses a cutter. Under it is a cool Late on a very hittable slider. I think it's just the pitching selections so that they have. JP a lot of stuff that's going to be low in the zone. A lot of stuff that's just giving me trouble. And that one is lifted in the air. That's not enough. He missed three. He missed a couple sliders back to back. This is a huge problem. This is a ginormous problem. We were cold in the last World Series that we played in as well. But this has been, I think, another level of it. It's just a lot of guys throwing sinkers or sliders or slurves as their primary pitches. One start, a 1-0 record, 3-0 ERA, six innings pitched. He's given up three hits, no walks, struck out four, 0.5 on the whip. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Kind of surprised at how high that ERA is, but we also have an, our pitching rotation has been a little weird. As far as good eye right there. That's not a good start. Ball one, no strike. There's a strike. As far as the last couple of series have been concerned. I don't think we started with our like top pitchers. It's been odd. Man, that's a, that's a bad pitch. And he deals. Goes down looking. I don't love it. It's a really nice slider for the strikeout, but the problem is the pitch before pretty bad. Pitch misses outside, and that's ball one. Just not what we're looking for here. And he pumps in a strike. Overthrow in here. I can I can feel myself a little. A little tight today. A little. Swing at a bouncer. Did not anticipate that Ray was going to get it, and he almost didn't make the play. I thought uh, Suarez had a probably had a better look at it, but that's all right. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And first offering is fouled off. Hey, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, Ooh, he can do it and get it done. And a That's, rare This is not the pitch so I wanted to throw. To That's it. Checks That's a it. swing. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. Braves go down quickly here. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Ty France. Soroka back to work. And there's a ball. Slider inside. He missed a couple to... Probably should have been pretty hittable. So two balls and no strikes. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. That's why I was kind of hoping for a 2-0 fastball there. That one fouled off two and two. He's leaving some sliders up. And the right hander deals. And there's a rocket. Finally the get outfield. one to drop. So we'll man we had three or four the hits inning. that went right to people, including maybe the worst time well, double play we could have had. Strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And 
France has been good. There's another slider up in the zone. Too aggressive. Too aggressive. Looking for that mistake. Still early. Damn. It's not good to be early on the 94 mile an hour sinker. Righty delivers. Battling here as he fouls Because you're only going to be earlier on an 83 mile an hour slider. Gross. Nobody out. Keeps the back going with a foul ball. It's another hittable slider. Just can't slow down enough. Got him. And that's the first out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Hey, you had Suarez bad. up to hit down. Relax, settle down, we're fine. We're in a good position, we're up 2-1. Just settle down. On the ground, two ball. Steps up not, for one. not, Damn. honestly, not terrible. Oh. What? Just like okay, that was a weird the double play. Over. One hit in the inning, but That's pretty frustrating. It's a good go piece of contact. Of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Man. We head to the bottom of the second. It's the, the frustration the starting to mount with the same the problem over and over again. And first offering is fouled off. Because it's just... Kicks and deals. That clips the zone. 0 oh and 2. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried. It's a beautiful if he slider right there, Robbie. And right? That's a strikeout looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Fought off foul. But it is, I mean, it is not an unexpected. Answer. It was the problem that I thought we'd get to, that we get going into the playoffs. We're going to see much better pitchers pitching much better consistently. We're playing good teams consistently. We don't get a weekend series against the Mets, struggle against them, and then beat up some team that sucks. And then play Tampa Bay, and then get frustrated, and then come home and play a team that sucks. We don't get that. We have to fucking play good teams every goddamn game. AJ Pollock at the dish. And you can you can see it where it's just the pitching is just not making sense to me. I don't know that we in this series have faced a pitcher with a four seam fastball as a primary pitch. If we did, it was probably game one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Oh wow, what really? Well, saying, Holy who shit. Needs the defense an immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Back here in Atlanta, and now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. And the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. I haven't seen the change up yet. That misses, and it's one and one. I think that was the fastball. Yes, okay. And that's Ooh. it for a strike. Ooh. So what was that? I can't even tell. The one two. In the air to left center. Pollock has this one sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting it. The second base. Here's Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore. Line drive. 
Drop. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. It just feels like they're sailing on me a little bit more. I'm thinking that's a bloop shot, and it just, just kind of hanging up in the air a little bit. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. We got to be able to get one of these sliders, right? Over to first, and he saved. Not sure who's out in the outfield, but making a dive. Thought he had it. He's playing today in his home state of Georgia. Bad swing. Bad ball. swing. Moore stands at first with one out. Stop swinging. Ah. The 0 2. It's a good take right there. I'm not super concerned with stealing a base at the moment. is inside would have loved to see him bail me out with a slider that hit him and a pitch stays alive I wow, didn't think I was going to be that late on that it's a pretty hittable pitch right hander kicks deals and that one is lifted in the air Acuna after it no trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Jorge Mateo now. That misses. Ball one. Top of the third. No score. Next offering is in Come for a strike. Come on. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Single, single. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So up next, Julio Rodriguez. And that's in there that's for fine. strike that's one. Fine. That's fine. Not really what I'm looking for. Not where I'm looking either. And the righty deals. That one off the mark, and the count is one and one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That's bad swing. pitch out to short Grissom they take the force out Damn it. third out and that ends the frame Mariners leave a couple and we are this still is scoreless. so frustrating welcome back bottom of the Here inning Ozzie Albies up to the plate the second baseman Ray back to work there's a strike. Ray, 31 years old. He's the reigning American League Cy Young Award winner. Strike two. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Dribbled up the third baseline, and it goes just foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Foul ball still couldn't get it past him. Yeah, what I was looking for. Late swing on a fastball high and tight. In the air on the infield. France nice play for in, And there's one away. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or a weak contact in the infield. I don't think you could let it go by, though. You can't let the umpire call that strike three. Probably try to swing thinking, well, at least get a piece of it. That was a really bad pitch. That was a really bad pitch. Swing 
swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Here's Marcelo Zuna. I mean, that's literally the explanation for the previous out as well. A former Gold Glove winner. Just like, got to put something on it. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. The 0 one Ball nope. one there. Mm -hmm. well, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. That to right. That's a really bad pitch. We are Hernandez lucky on that one. Pulls it in on the run. Braves are set Pitch, down. We're pitching a little three. bit. I'm a little we're still I feel tight. At I feel zero. tight. I feel frustrated. Kind of annoyed with the way that this series has gone. We're leading two to one. I should be a little Matthew looser. Park, and the batter will be the shortstop. The shortstop. JP Crawford. JP Crawford. The wind of the pitch. And a rope into center field base hit. He's leaving the sliders for us to be able to get to, and I just the first base number twenty-three. I'm not making him pay. Look, I mean, look at this. Look at that previous pitch in the bottom left corner, and look at those two sliders to France, four and five. In there, and it's one. That's a good take right there. Looking more for that slider. That's a cutter. His fifth best pitch. It's at eighty-eight. Next yeah, that's probably a little strike. too passive. Right too there. committed to the top the side of the zone here. The situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll it. Uh, I'm surprised play. that that was a check swing. Crawford gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Pitch misses there. Yeah, that's ball two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating no that's a double play over to albies two gone that. as they hit into their second double play in the first four innings got what he was looking for on the mound right there and his infielders took care of business pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs on the ground out to short gathers and throws to first and Hernandez is out. Out number three. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. Frustration's really brewing here. That sucks. A perfect, perfect piece of contact into a double play. And then another out right behind it. Looking a little you know, too hard for the slider like that's missing the zone. In this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. That's an out. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now Honestly, the check third, swing or the, the yeah, the check swing with Ty France was probably strikes. a swing too, which actually would have benefited me. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Now the batter now, Vaughn Grissom, and a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. The Braves still looking for their first hit in this one. Next one oh. just misses. And the count one and oh, two. Oh, I thought test. I had it. And that one off the outside. Really? Edge. Hmm. Out there to center. That gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Is really easy that is pretty frustrating. That, that is a pretty frustrating at bat right there. Zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough 
to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Nope. And that just oh, that's a strike. Misses. I mean, I, I mean, that's a strike, dude. What? Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Yeah. And he's down on strikes. Should have been a strike out of Pete. A piece of the ball. A piece of the ball. A piece back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have got it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Here's Austin Riley. Yuck. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a strike in there. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just oh, got to hope that you can make contact. That's a strike. Have you seen some of the calls you're making, man? Two outs. That one drifts oh, inside. I don't know what the hell happened there. That was just a bad <laughs> I heard that click on the... Still two and two after the foul ball. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. Brave strand one. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark. And now, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. And there's the strike. Well, these Mariners just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. That's Squeezes the slider that we're down. looking for. Sometimes you have to keep a mistake up in the zone. Mother when you have guys in fucker. Position because they put themselves there. And that, that was it. Fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty to the plate. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Lucky to get a piece of that one. The pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. Oh, now off the bad part of the bat. Pollock has this Damn one it. sized up. He's got it. Out number two. Oof. And now Dylan Moore. And he's already singled in this game. In there for strike That's fine. one. That's fine. No, Way too early. So far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. In the air, center field. Man. Makes the catch in and over. So I no looked runs, up no in the pitch no was low. Errors, I no looked low left. and the pitch Last was up. Fuck my up. face. And we still have no score. And welcome back. John Shelby with my Where buddy Chris Singleton. It's set the to get us started. Bottom five. Travis Darno. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. You know, these Braves just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Out to center. Rodriguez racing after it. Tracks it down for the out. And there's God. one down. The left fielder, number eight. Now the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. They say you win. Pitching a little too hard on that last one. That's why that fastball was so bad. Just too focused on 
Trying to make sure that we're getting the timing right. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. And that's in there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. A pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. And a ball evens the count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now the lefty hit pretty well in the air out to center. Rodriguez settles under it. And that is that. And the Braves go down quietly. Sixth inning coming up. Still I don't know if I can survive more games like this. I, the offense, please. Give me something. Game. I don't know what it is. Back here in Atlanta at the play. Taylor Trammell. Taylor Trammell. Soroka back to work. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the out. Oh, my so goodness. Over. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Jorge Mateo. Swings through that one. 0-1. Mateo, in his fifth season, 27 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. A little bit low. One ball, one strike. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a ball popped That's up. That's an out. All these pulls it down, and there's two gone. Come on. The center field of the field. Digging in, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. That one's in there. I, I just, I, I don't understand. I can't get any of these bounces to go. And in baseball, My way. have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does. Just a joy to watch. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. It's for average power. The ability to feel the arm and then the speed, really Loop. impressive. Loop shot? And that'll fall for a base hit. Shocked that that somehow wasn't a fucking... Well, maybe that will end up getting him massive going. Huge, massively really huge diving catch. There. Kept his shoulder square to the plate and wasn't trying to overswing. I think that's the key for him to have success through the rest of this series. And Stop swinging at off. everything. Take your hand off the button. I see that quick pitch motion, and I just want to crush it. Rodriguez leads off first with two down to the inning. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Down and in, moved his feet. That's a 3-0 count. 3-0 count, man. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Back there. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Here's Rodriguez trying to score. Let's Safe. go! And they take the lead. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two... God, right when you there. swing at two really fucking terrible pitches, swing, nice finally get it over the defender. Jesus. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ty France. And first off, Rangers Thankfully that went foul. A little too aggressive. Excited. Runner at second, two down. 
And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, mm. that could be it's the a good key sinker. I thought it was maybe going to be a slider that trailed so further out of the zone. Inning, I think it's a fine take. The number four hole hitter up. Field two. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now one Six nothing. fucking hits. Just can't string anything together. Nothing's gone long. Back at Truist Park. Bottom Lydia, of the sixth Lydia, inning. Lydia. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And yeah. the pitch. And the slider catches the zone. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got him That's a really in. nice pitch, right? And the really nice pitch. The postseason. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. 0-1, he flat out to right this first trip. In there, and it's 0-1. Okay, glad to see that. We've seen a couple go against us. That's fine. Probably not really much of a strike, but... Fastball gets the corner at the knees. No ball, two Hit weakly on the ground. On to France. And that quickly, two away. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. Going one. Harris. Yeah, probably a bit of a generous spot even, there. 195 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. That one's in there. That is strike two. Ooh. Surprised that that slider was that bad. Caught way too much of the plate. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. It stays. A little surprised we got a swing on that. Bad finish. Left hand batter waits. Got him Looking on the corner. Strikeout. Braves go down Ooh. quickly here. Okay. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Joe Jimenez will take over here. I believe we saw him yesterday. Looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. And now for Seattle, Teoscar Hernandez. Four seam at 98, a slider 87, and a circle change at 90. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Oops, 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 oops. And he deals. They say you win. Okay. All right. God damn it. So far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. In the air, right field. Four That's straight sliders. I hate you. Makes the grab and there's one down. I mean, if you if I can't Maybe figure it out, there's no reason to throw anything other than down. sliders. I, I cannot figure it out. There's a strike. Oh, no. 
Started after the 0 1 pitch, and now a check down to first. And he held up. And now 2 and 1. He's after a little that wild. Inside. Settle down a little bit. Got it. Good. Didn't get the strike call on the pitch way outside. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was oh, out front. It. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The next pitch misses, and the count's full. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Got me. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. There's a circle change so fucking high in his own. He threw everything low except for the last pitch. just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a change up right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Raleigh. Now the box. Yeah, I hear Luke, you're going to drive yourself insane today. What the fuck are you doing? It's going to take something special to get a run across, so why not? You got some pop. Swing for the fences. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. God damn it. Here's the second baseman, Dylan Moore. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. I mean, that circle change is coming in at 90. It's the high side of that circle change. Everything else was low, and that was up in the zone. Yeah, just swing and a miss yeah of course it's a slider. Of course it's a fucking slider. Why would you throw your primary pitch in a consistent manner? Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Okay. Settle. Down. The 2 1. And that's in for a strike. <laughs> Moore started after it, tried to hold up. Now Second time I've gone for no that slider strike. that far out of the zone. So now two on. Take the one. And two yeah. outs. Not what he wanted to do right there. He's just not he throwing the fastball. He's not throwing it. Position and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Colin McHugh. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Taylor Trammell. Good. Jesus, fuck. Really excited for you to throw... Just the slider again. And first offering is fouled off. It's actually a cutter. Slider all the way down at 79. It was I actually bothered to slow down the swing there. Aided reliever gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left hand hitter waits. Fights that one away. And that the was count it. remains 0 and 2. That was the pitch. That was exactly Rally what we were looking for. It's just early on, on it. First with two down. To the right side. Instead of Tosses to the pitcher pump. covering the bag. That ends the frame. The Braves' pen comes through in fine fashion. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Mariners' one and the Braves' nothing. I am. I'm just tired of having these games back to back. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Vaughn Grissom. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That just misses. Ball one. And that's downstairs and outside. A little bit of an over pitch there by me on that one. Trying too hard to get strike number one. That one missed, now three and oh. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Oh. 
the three one and fouled off. Oof, I, I tried to leave that in the zone and it was still not three two. Great. He'll throw a breaking ball three one. He'll do it again three two. And a swing and a miss. Ooh, that's huge. That is fucking huge. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's Acuna now. Infield playing him to pull. Second baseman just to the right of the bag. And first offering is fouled off. That's a really good pitch. Really good pitch, and it's right over the heart of the plate. Just very, very low, thank Looking goodness. Look at the tying run on base. Out towards right center field. Hernandez ranging after it. Too cute. Takes Too cute catch. with that location. Two away. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Bounce to third. And foul ball. Late swing fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Might have been able to get him with uh... the tying run at the plate. He went, he went, right. he went. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. Nope, he held back. The pitch. That one down the line. Fuck and off. God damn it. Foul. Seriously. The wind of the pitch. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. Here's a one two. Just that missed. Good. good slider. Down really? And can be so hard to get really? on the line with. You're better off taking that pitch. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. There Got him. Down looking. Sit the fuck down. Waste nine of my goddamn pitches, the asshole. They're down one nothing. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Jorge Mateo. Okay, slider at 82, cutter at 91, four seam at 93, curveball at 77. This one high in the that's air the to bad left part of the bat. That's, uh, that's a fucking curveball I should have had. God damn it. Makes the God fucking down. damn it. This game is trying so and hard to let me be Julio successful, Rodriguez. and I just refuse. One for three. Why would I anticipate? Well, that catches the zone there's no reason that I would guess that he's going to... Well, I guess not Atlanta guess. Bullpen, Tyler Matzik, up and throwing. And he grounds one back. This up is the so middle. bad. This is so bad. Olsen, oh. This is up, so bad. Down here at the top of what the in the fuck? Two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, JP Crawford. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. On the ground, right side. Olsen takes it himself. Third out. Jesus fucking Christ. Mariners are down. I, I mean, in order, fuck. But they lead it one to are nine. you kidding me? Here at the ballpark, and here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Here comes a pitch. I gotta, yeah, I gotta not do this. Fouled off. That one oh. missed. That's fine. Leave it out of the zone, no problem. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And a pitch. That's towards center. Rodriguez settles under it. Makes the catch one down. The left fielder, number eight. AJ. And next for Atlanta, AJ That's fine. Pollock. We're and fine. He he's pitched Scott incredibly. Service as he's ready to make a change on the mound. That'll do it for Robbie Ray. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Chris Flexen, into the Chris Flexen coming in here, no ERA. Righty's having a little bit of success, which is not great. Um, he has to face two righties and then a switch hitter. 
we'll see. Uh, there is one out. I'm just kind of, you know, prepping a little bit further. Five games, a 1-0 record. He has a blown save. This to third, Suarez. And Get a couple of quick outs. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Did you he was on the Mariners last year? For us. Oh. oh, I, okay. That's fine, that's fine. He swings and I didn't take into account pitch. the... Um, the batter up to bat. And the righty deals. To third, Suarez. Zips it across, and Albies is returned. It's like I holler in for Gets bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon strips. Braves are set down. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Three. Is there a dog here. in the audience? One Sir, please. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. I want to say Iglesias. So now it's the four hole hitter, Ty France. It's not who I was thinking it was. He might be their closer. Out to short. Okay, Sean. All right. Just get that closer warmed up because we're doing fucking nothing here. Munoz is already warmed up. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Lifted in the air, right center field. I'm drop. I'm gonna drop. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, that was a slider that I was laid on. Man at first, and stepping in for the Mariners, a. Eugenio Suarez. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now, here is Cal Raleigh. And no, he swings Sean. and misses. I got too excited. Too excited. And a foul ball. Two on, one out. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze it. That misses the zone. Two balls, Better two strikes. Patience the there. Catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Three, two. So first and second with two outs. Dylan Moore up next for the Mariners. Pitch kicks away from Darno. To third, not in time. He's safe. It's second and third with two gone. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And that one is the bad in part the of the bat again. Son and of a fucking no runs, bitch. No hits, no errors, and Jesus Christ. Are you fucking kidding me? Number nine. It's the Mariner. So bottom of the nine. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. The pitch. 
I mean, that's just... Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Bounce to the right. France steps on the bag. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. A couple of pitches and a quick out. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. I still didn't. Why? Why doesn't it change? It's amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out. Runner on the goal. Ground ball up the middle. Goes to second. Safe there. No excuse for what I just did. 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 You have to take the fucking out. You goddamn idiot. Next up for the Braves, Andres Munoz gets the call from the pen. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Okay. Settle down. We've gotten out of worse jams. We can get out of this jam too. No problem. No problem. We got it. We got it. Don't worry about it. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. Got too greedy. Um, when, when they said steal, I was kind of just thinking... When they said steal and then it was 40 speed... We're good. We're good. <laughs> These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And ball right to the right fielder. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are up. Acuna punches one foul right side. One and two now. Acuna see the velocity 97 with that fastball he fouled it off definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open and a swing and a miss the tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over well all these guys need is one more win but when you're playing in the postseason it's not just a win of a game it's a win of an inning it's a win of an at bat it's a win of a pitch count and that's what's why you bring in Munoz in the next game to take the series I kicked something on accident I'm hoping it was just a Wii U not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final Dear numbers. Dear God, nine a hits and we can only yeah, manufacture one run. Game, boo, Gross. Sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Holy Shami shit. Saying, so long. Not a second game in a row. One error. Can't have that. So the thing that was actually frustrating even before... We got the error that allowed the uh, second out on, or the second runner on that should have been out number two, um, was that the ball got into the outfield, and it did the thing. It's got the new the new mechanic. Been they've been there all year. What's irritating as is once the play kind of is finished because I don't think he's going to try to push for second at all, and maybe that's the reason that it doesn't. Um, 
once it like feels like it's done, it should just recenter back to the middle. But I guess if he's pushing for second, it probably shouldn't, because then it's kind of an easy out. Like you could get it to do the thing and then hit it, reset it. I bet that was probably one of the very early like playtest problems that they had. But I don't know. I felt like once it was finalized, because he had probably just, I think he just overran first base. I don't think he really worried about it being a double. Could it would have been nice to have it. Uh, <laughs> reset so that it was uh oh i kicked my i think i kicked my controller on it i think that's what i got oops oops oops, oops. i know i know need a controller need a controller oh my goodness um what a victory two of them in a row here in atlanta that have been one nothing uh we gave up two hits today i can't believe we've been able to keep this offense in check for this long I feel like every time we're gambling, uh, every time they're up, we're gambling that they're going to, you know, break this thing wide open and all of a sudden it's going to be a blowout. Um, we I, like it's it makes those errors feel so much bigger that when the um, when the with this offense, you know, it's it like you with it being two on. I mean, even he's 40 something speed, right? There's, which is kind of like why, okay, I mean, let's take you through, take you through the hit, the, the pitch starts, steal, steal, runner, 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 whatever. I hear that in my head. I could go to second as the ball gets contacted. When it cuts out of their camera, glance up, notice that he's only 40 speed to get to the bag. So I think I can beat him. Shouldn't have even worried about it. Second was already in my head as far as the steal was happening, but got to just like not even worry about it. As soon as the ball gets contacted, have to just go to first. Don't worry about it. He's 40 speed. Acknowledge that, put it in your memory and just take the up. Take the up because we got the strikeout. The very next batter would have ended the game. Instead, it's two on one out. That's strikeout does not end the at bat and we have to deal with the great Ronald Acuna Jr. That is a recipe for disaster. We were somehow able to navigate it today. The pitching very strong yet again. Um, I feel like we've just kind of been able to shut this offense down early and I just don't think they've gotten into a good flow. We've been pretty good with location. We've gotten away with a couple uh, that maybe should have been crushed or whatever, but that happens. You've seen us on our side We've, I've missed a ton of pitches. It's been a fucking miserable series, last, especially the last couple of games. Last three games, actually. It's only been one game that's been, like, comfortable, and that was a 4-1 victory in Seattle. So, a couple of really close wins here. We scored four runs in the first game. We have scored two runs in the combined three games. So, we're doing it, but it has been stressful and frustrating as, as we work our way through the World Series, trying to pick up the win, we have a shot at it tomorrow. Hopefully we can uh, we can put it away and uh, take home take home another World Series title. I am 2-0 and in the World Series so far, and we took it to seven games last year, and I had the same problem. We had, uh, I was ice cold from the plate, and some of our bigger power hitters were not making contact. Julio Rodriguez does not have a hit in this series. Thankfully, J.P. Crawford's been here. Oh, Julio did get a hit. He picked, he was one for four today. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, he was hitless for most of this series. France was one for four with Mateo Crawford, two for four. We've been able to pick up stuff from some of the more unlikely bats, uh, you know, to, to frame it in a positive way. I think Haggerty had a two run home run in Seattle. I want to say Crawford, I think had a home run as well. Um, maybe I'm flipping those, but Oh God, it's just, it's been so, I've been, been tight, been pitching real tight, real stressful. We're all in on wins tomorrow. We're all in on the win tomorrow. We're starting our best starting pitcher. We're going to put the best lineup we can out on the field and we're going to do our damnedest to just put it away here in Atlanta. Don't worry about five game six game or game seven, put it away and put it away now. Like I said, Crawford two for four with a double and a ribby. Julio was the one who scored. Um, he was one for four with France and Mateo. Robbie Ray, your player of the game. Andrew Winner, 14 strikeouts in 7.1 innings. Pitch, he gave up one hit, no walks, no earned. I pulled him because of the 
what I read incorrectly, righty, righty, switch, what I should have noted was that it was going to be righty, switch, lefty. I still don't think putting Robbie Ray or leaving him in through the seventh is the best idea in the world. Just throw it, throw it out. Just, you know, it's a righty, it's a switch. I probably should have looked to see what the switch hitter, what he was better against, and then kind of gone from there. But we were able to wiggle out of some trouble again today. Munoz picks up his fifth save of the postseason. Soroka, six innings pitched, six hits, one strikeout, no earned, or no walks, one earned, excuse me, on his line. Um, I pulled Flexen because I trusted Munoz a little bit more. I wanted that high, high velocity stuff to come in, blow stuff past him, and just try to put this away as quickly as possible. Back-to-back one nothing wins. It has been very frustrating from the plate, but we take a commanding 3-1 lead, and we have an opportunity to close it out tomorrow, November 1st, right here on youtube.com slash Rex. So be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos. Happy Halloween, everybody. Practice safe trick-or-treating. Um, you know, if you're an adult, if you're my age, just go buy some candy. Have a nice night. Dress up with somebody cool or don't or whatever. Just take care of yourself, all right? All right? Watch more of my videos. That's There you go. There's your Halloween plan. I'm kidding. Um, but I mean, I'm kidding about the last part, but... Uh, have a safe, happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, we're, we're, we are we're today, we are disguised as a team who doesn't know how to play MLB the show. That's, that's my disguise. Advanced day. Max Freed is going to be on the mound. Joey Wentz is the scheduled starter. It will not be him. It will most likely be um, Logan Gilbert. Um, and we're going to hopefully get the best of Max over here, 2-1 and one with a 4-1-5 ERA. I want to say, okay, we beat him in game one. That's okay. That's why I recognize that. We don't really want to face Spencer Strider. And that's the thing that I was thinking about of being like, oh, we, I like, we need to start putting away some wins here because we can't face Strider again because we struggled so mightily against him. I don't remember what Freed's like pitch repertoire is. Um, he was the only guy I could think of that might have a four-seam fastball as his primary. Let me pull the footage real quick. Uh, but we'll be working with Logan Gilbert on our side. Let's see. Gilbert. Uh, what are we? What are we looking for? I would love to just look at his pitch selection. Okay, he has a primary four seam with a 12-6 curve, a slider, a sinker, and a circle change. Okay. We were able to get the win against him in Seattle in game one, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, have a great Halloween. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. At least one more game tomorrow. We're going to see if we can put this team away and be World Series champions yet again in MLB The Show 23. Good sports. Good night. Go Mariners.